Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more of The Thaumaturge. We've just arrived at the cemetery where we have uh, a mission, side objective, to go and find Rasputin. He's in there, I think. Uh, I'm just having a poke up here. I can't seem to go anywhere, so let's actually go into the cemetery itself. We've got some people here. There's, uh, there's Rasputin. Uh, there's something up here, though. What have we got? No luck. Oh well. I don't currently have any thaumaturgy points, so we'll have to wait for that one. Anything up here? Not the biggest map. Uh, I'm going to have a look down here though. Oh, is that something? No. Alright, I think we're here to talk to Rasputin then, so let's do that. You're alive. Does that mean I helped, Thaumaturge? Uh, tell him what's changed. I see him. My Uper. He's back. I can feel our bond growing stronger as each moment passes. I'm happy for you. But do restrain your joy. We're in the cemetery. Uh, thank him for his help. I don't have enough words uh, to thank you for what you've done for me. I haven't felt this way in years. I'm glad I could help. All right, what's he doing here? When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see, to them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. Observation, doom. Locals say that since the death of the village elder, a doom has hung over the village. Minor quarrels immediately turn into bloody fights, and people are tense and withdrawn. Things are not looking good. Uh, let's ask about his death first. How did this elder die? There was a fire, sir. Flames shooting sky high, and him burning, swearing, speaking curses. And the curse stuck. Those ruins seem a profaned place now. A wicked spirit has taken over the blighted land. Don't encourage her. Once she gets going, it can't be stopped. This could also be the work of a salitor. What do you mean? The Elder's death. Vasily's death was not peaceful. The Elder died in the flames that consumed his house. The ruins are thought to be cursed, and locals speak of them with horror. Let's talk to the woman about the misfortune. What changed in the village after the Elder died? It's all dreadful, sir. Everything's gone topsy-turvy. When folks get to arguing now, they're so hot-headed. Before you know it, they're at one another's throats. Ladies have no patience for kids, nor lads for ladies, nor neighbors for neighbors. Any word might seem offensive and like an insult waiting to happen. Then you've got to fight. Tragedies such as Vasily's death leave their mark on everyone. It takes time to come to terms with something like this. That doesn't mean this place is possessed by dark forces. As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. That's what might be influencing the villagers and wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. <laughs> the wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around, and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A book of hatch. Where did this elder live? I'll show you. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. Superstitions. A woman in the cemetery claims the village is haunted by a lich. His name is Bukovac. A 
peaceful and happy village? Not quite. The villagers are riled up and on the point of breaking, laying the blame for their troubles on the actions of Bukovac. They are trying to defend themselves against this dark force with folk methods. Now do... I don't think I have... Uh, enough to upgrade my thing again. Because uh, I... I don't want to take it up to here. No. Um, I think I did this in the demo as well. I went too far down this line and then I didn't have enough in these things <laughs> to uh, use them on... Uh, yeah, these things. Observations. Alright, well I guess we'll go with uh, Rasputin then. Let's go to Bermed Homestead. Flow times are so quick, I'm not even having enough time to uh, read the tooltips. I mean, we've got something here. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. Uh, a destroyed door frame. By some miracle, it survived the fire. Thick lines of wood grain are visible on the frame. They arrange themselves into words, carved sharply as if by a chisel. They scream about an attempt to break down the door, about the hinges finally letting go. They scream into a space that doesn't respond. Fear has embedded itself deep in the fabric of the door frame. Fear of the flames and trepidation about losing a loved one. Mm. What else have we got? A horrible death. A dried blood stain. It is soaked deep into the burned boards of the house. We have a thaumaturgy point now. I might wait and to spend it until I know what I need. The blood sounds like suffering. It flowed quickly. The wound inflicted with the scissors wasn't large, but it was accurate. Life left the body. The heart went into a spasm and the mind recognised the end. It lasted for some time and then the flames came and the pain resounded anew. Oops. Anything else in here doesn't look like it. Could be something outside though. Something nearby here. Ah, true fear. A rag doll, charred. It appears old. Ah, Sir Vesna. The doll is caked with a hard crust of fear. His layers are like the varnish on an age-old painting. A child's fear. A, ch a girl's terror. A young woman's dread. They form a cocoon smelling of turpentine that constricts the throat and forces tears from the eyes. Hmm. else around here? I felt something. Where is it? Ah. So that's how you want to play. The charred old trouser belt with a heavy metal buckle. Are we going to spend indeed now? Uh, get that up to a point. What upgrade does this give? Uh, makes every attack on the enemy deal the maximum possible damage. I suppose... I mean, that makes sense to put there, doesn't it, about the focus stuff. Guess I'll put that on there for now. Uh, right, should be able to look so at this now. Uh, the buckle cuts through leather like a razor. It's no longer a boring piece of clothing, but a tormentor's tool that descends on exposed flesh like a vulture. It pecks at it, leaving carmine wounds once, twice rice. It cuts deep all the way to the soul. I feel like we've searched... Oh, hello. Our oh, Salutor wasn't there before, was he? This house was always full of fear and its owner was still alive when the house got fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. The murder gave 
birth to the flaw that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give them back to her. She ought to know more about what happened here. Vesna's trace. The same trace can be felt on the rag doll and the item dropped by the woman. Vesna smells of fear. Her nerves are badly strained. Her heart is trembling. Her fingers are stiff from anxiety. And her mind wanders, lost in the wilderness of fear. I may be able to find her home and discover what's behind her jittery condition. Well, we know where she lives. Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Why the hurry, father? We're the Tsar's men. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy who trashed our comrades? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I think we do that. We keep doing this, right? I, th I think feeding the pride is, is a positive thing, no? Say yes, and that you can do it again. I can do exactly the same to all of you. He's not as weak as he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. But not counting the priest. He's still alone. Not anymore, I'm not. Okay, so what do we got? Well, um, we could, uh, yeah, we'll reduce his focus, and then Upir. Do a big damage on him. Could yeah, I get a bigger big attack on him. Between the two of them, that should kill him. So what have we got? More focus. We can try that again. Which one is which? I think this is the guy that's acting second. So again, Upir. Put a big one on him. Now I'll give him a give him a sound thrashing. This guy, I mean, there's no, I guess there's no reason not to keep doing this, is there? Um, could restore my health here. Um, and yeah, then we'll do a, do a big strike. Not too bad. Are you alright, sir? these salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. Okay, so I think we go back to the graveyard first because I should be able to look at that um, item we found again. Now... I don't know how useful it would be, but, you know, better to have all the information. Elder Vasily's grave. Died only a year ago, and his tombstone has 
clearly already been damaged. Why? Stone strikes against stone, heavy, guided by a hateful hand. The blows carry anger, despair, chaos. The tombstone cracks and crumbles, but it's not enough. Death is not enough. Vandalizing a grave is not enough. Nothing will ever be enough. Uh, I've got the book of Arch here. Interesting. Um, Thaumaturgy. I've got another point, so I think I'm going to put this into mind as will it have something in all of these then? And that's given us restores your focus. So. Um, I mean, I guess, yeah, put that on the big one. Oops. Why is that not working? It looks, well, it looks like it should be able to equip more than one, but... Mm. What's this one again? I think I'm going to put that there. We can always know that we can do a, a quick strike to increase our focus if we need it. Okay, interesting. Well, I think what I will do is we're going to go back to the village, and I think I might talk to the uh, the wise woman first before we go and see uh, Vesna. So there's quite a few sub subjects we couldn't uh, speak to her about. Okay, well, we'll just talk to her. Maybe we'll have another line of inquiry. I've been going in so many circles, your head will spin. Aha! Ask how Vasily's death has affected the village. And that tragedy at the Elder's farm. Did it affect people badly? Some less, others more. He was like an icon to some folk here. But I found out he could be heavy-handed. He was a drinker and a beater. So, some folk here don't miss him one bit. Have you got many more nosy questions? The wise woman revealed that Vesna sought help from her regarding her father's behaviour. Did she reveal that? <laughs> she was fed up with the violence he was inflicting on her. Mm, okay, well, well, maybe we're going to talk to Vesna next. Still be alive when I get back, madam. All right, I think Vesna's the next stop, anyway. Oh, Whoop is here. Now I know that woman's trace. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at the Vasili's burned-out farmstead. Lucas sincerely loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. Okay. The shaft of the axe bears a distinct trace of Luca. It's identical to the one on the door frame of the burned homestead, actually. Um, does that mean I should go look at it? There's an axe down here. Unrelated, I think. Maybe it's just good enough to go and speak to her about it. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I'd like to have a chat about your husband. He'd better not be here when he gets back. He's not as talkative or polite as I am. It is clear that this is not the first time Vesna has threatened someone with a husband. Luca must not have the best reputation in the village. Residency Luca is a sullen churl and a recluse. However, he seemed to have a soft spot. Luca was at Vasily's house on the night the f murder and fire took place. I know you're scared, but please just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. What do you want? Hmm. Let's give her the doll. I think I've got something of yours. 
I found it by your father's burned-out farmhouse. You've imprinted your fear onto it. I know because I'm a thaumaturge. I want to help. What do you want to know? Where can I find your husband? In the clearing, by the forest. He's chopping wood with the others. Thank you. Get that thing out of here! Okay, time to go to another location then. Again. This time it's a matter of life and death. How is your search going? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavach. And you reveal that secret? It's Luca. It has to be Luca. Do you still want to catch that Salutor? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I... Give my word. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. In front of Luca. Okay. Just searching the area first, in case there's anything pertinent here. Oh. I'm not here to fight. Luca! You shouldn't have threatened my wife. Why did you do this? I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who brought the Salitor here. The spirit that you all say arrived in the village after Vasily's death. The Salutar is what's making fear consume you all and making you hot-headed. And it's because of your flaw, which has been within you since the murder took place. A murder might just be about to take place. Cut off his head. What? Tear off his head before he opens his mouth again! No, it's not him, it's her. Unless... you're the one that killed him. And I'd do it again if I could. Get out of here! Here you are, Bukabach. Vesna's flaw is mine, and you're mine. Ooh, difficulty level. Um... Interesting we're selecting it this far in, but yeah, normal, I guess. Um, for now, anyway. Ooh, look at that. Fighting wild salutors. To defeat a wild salutor, you must get rid of the shadows that protect him. Vanquishing the shadows will weaken him, but the weaker he is, the more fiercely he will fight back. The bar tells you when the wild salutor sends more enemies against you. Okay. I don't know why these, uh, these screens keep blinking out unless it's the start of the animation again. Maybe it is. It's pretty. It's pretty cool artwork, isn't it? On the uh, the demons and stuff. Are they demons? I guess they're meant to be. Anyway, start the fight. Um, okay, so we've got to defeat this dude first. He's got quite a lot of uh, focus there. How much do we get rid of? One. Might be better just to punch him. We both come in with like a big attack. Let's see what that does. Uh. 
States. Book of Atchers calls you to enter the suffering state. States can have a benign or potentially deadly effect. Read the descriptions carefully and don't get caught off guard. Uh, what well, is that down here? Suffering receives two damage at the end of every round. The effect stacks four times. Ooh. So it's going to go on for four rounds. Uh, we didn't reduce his focus, but maybe we can just kill him anyway. Um, yeah, I'll come with a big attack. Uh, which is doing 12, I think. So I think we can maybe do this one and restore a bit of health. Oh, no, we killed him. <laughs> oh, hello. Well, that is, that is damaging the, the boss, so that, that's good. Right, I think we get rid of the um, diversion on him. Then Upir. Not the big attack yet, so we'll just... Ooh. Doesn't have a quick attack. Tell you what then, let's come back to me. I'll do a quick attack. Book of... and uh, Upir take away his focus. Um, okay, well we need to do a big attack, which is gonna which is gonna be a kill. And I think Upir uh Yeah, let's come in and do a, like a healing attack on me again. Did Upir oh Upir hasn't gone yet. So if I do a slow one, we should both be able to take her out. And I get a bit of healing in. Oh. Why did my attack not trigger? This is Zubir again. Oh, I guess he goes before I go next. 15. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I think a quick one would do a bit more healing and make sure of the kill. Oh, I did my big one for his gone. <laughs> I've acquired a floor of vehemence. A little faith, Thaumaturge. Focus on what's true. My voice is true. I am the truth, you see. Look. Taming a Salutor. Um, you defeat Bukovac, the Deed Dimension Salutor, but you cannot take him, tame him on your own. Rasputin comes to your help. The untamed Salutor won't obey your orders, stops you from developing, and weakens your perception. Fortunately, Rasputin soothed his anger. You achieved the unachievable. Unbelievable. How do you feel? Are you alright? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so I'd say I've been better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I'd do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here. You're a witch! To the stake with her! To the stake! And you, why are you just standing there? Are you just letting them do this? Fine, I'll handle it myself. I did it before and I can do it now. What, what have you done? Go, you don't need to see this. <sighs> um. Well, this one, because we've got heart two, it seems like this might be, it's obviously a harder one to do, so maybe more effective. So we're going to prevent Luca from making rash decisions. Nothing has to be decided at the moment. Certainly not things that can't be undone. Well, 
Exactly. Beat it, you scoundrels. There's enough blood in this village already. Sharing a village with murderers? You were the first to spill blood! It's not the same. If that's the case, you're banished from the village. Get out of here! We'll burn away the impurity you left in our village. Pooh. Happy ending? Question mark. <laughs> Send a telegram at the railway station, okay. So we're back here. Right, we got to the Thaumaturgy point, but I think I'll save it for now until, like... Um, you know, we know, we kind of know what we need to upgrade. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? The postmaster said it's usually no more than an hour late, so it should be here any moment. I got a tougher question for you. Uh, pardon? Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? I'm afraid it's an ocean away, and even to the ocean, you've got a ways to go. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong <laughs> turn at Albuquerque, I can't get my bearings. The things I've seen, sir, places I've been, I just can't get to Albuquerque. How strange! It seems like a Bugs Bunny reference because he was always trying to get to Albuquerque. But um, I'm not quite sure why it's in this game. <laughs> eh, you know, bit of fun. I'm taking a left at Albuquerque. Right. I wanted to send two telegrams, one to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. My condolences about your father. Do you still want to send something? Did you come to say goodbye to me? More like to share my fear. Your condition yesterday, after the fight with that Bukovac, it troubled me. I don't think my treatments are having a long-lasting effect. And you don't look the best. Do you feel all right? Uh, let's be honest. I've just heard that my father is dead. My condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. A strange feeling. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to speak to you. A prophecy. I hope not. What do you intend to do now? Uh, go to Warsaw? I have to bury my father in Warsaw. Hmm. What about you? Thanks to you, I don't think I have anything else to do here. I had a little time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor, have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestones? Um... No, I haven't. I have. The skull of Franz Ferdinand himself, with his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood. A battlefield blanketed in lethal fog, with faceless beings emerging from it. This hasn't happened yet, but I saw it as clearly as I see you now. Thanks to you, I know that I can stop it. 
I know that I am part of history, and I can change it. Don't think you can stop First World War, mate. <laughs> Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so Warsaw sounds perfect. Ooh, intro. I think that's where the demo ended. Which makes sense. A dream or a vision of some kind. Warsaw! 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 Last stop, Warsaw. Time to wake up. It's clouding over. Oh, I don't like comfortable seats, do they? The weather is like my mood. Aside from the circumstances of the funeral bringing you back, you hadn't thought of ever returning here? Uh, well, I think the gold choices, or the yellow choices, I think they're um, what progress the conversation. But let's uh, I think the white ones will just um, get a bit more info and before we progress it. So let's let's go for telling what we think about Warsaw. I hate this city. It always makes me think of the stench of vodka, sweat and urine. Corruption, poverty, and trust me, no justice but street justice. I'm sure something must have changed since you left. But probably not for the better. What about the people? Those close to you? You'll never miss them? I never miss them. Not under circumstances like this. <laughs> um, tell them what the papers say. The only person I consider close is my sister. But Varsovians? Let's see. Workers are striking. They want to take advantage of the Tsar's visit to Orsay. The protests are being violently suppressed. Last week, around a dozen people were killed. Polish Socialist Party militants attacked a train. They stole money, bonds, and explosive materials. They're also suspected of robbing a transport of... Dutch Pommy? The Socialists in Warsaw must look pretty sharp then. Further along, we've got murders, muggings, and poverty. The newspapers feed on sensation. Remember that in darkness, even a small spark can be seen clearly. Even I can feel hope from all the people riding with us. Can't you? Uh, tell me what you've sensed in the passengers. Why not? Even without my powers, I can tell that hope is bringing people here from all three partitions. Miners, steel workers, governesses, maids, speculators, thieves. I've gotten to read a few of our fellow passengers' positions, and I know that hope can have many faces. Will you share that knowledge with me? Okay. There's a terrified woman riding with us. She's either running away or in hiding. I think that gentleman is smuggling something. Because excitement is all mixed up with guilt inside them. And this dandy, he's going whoring. <laughs> if there's something I've learned in life, Victor, it's never to neglect the whores. I bet. <laughs> Warsaw, end of the line. Welcome to Warsaw. 
I think the time's come to ask where you plan to stay. I'll let you know when I come up with something. It's crossed out the, the Russian uh, writing. Okay, so we've arrived in uh, Warsaw, September seventh, nineteen oh five. There, I didn't, I didn't realise. I, 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 I had kind of guessed it was pre World War One. I. I wasn't exactly sure of the year, but it's nice to have it confirmed there. Um, now, what have I got here? I've got, I've got a few things in my journal, so let's just have a look at these. We've got uh, Vesna's a new person. She might still be alive, for all we know. Um, locations. Okay, so we're on Transcaucasia. That's where we started, I guess. Uh, in Warsaw. Uh, it's neither close nor distant to me. It is the city of my childhood, early youth, my first experiences, those thaumaturgical and otherwise. When I left, I didn't miss it. I did miss my home, my sister, my friend. The city meant only as much as my loved ones who were there. It was defined by their presence. I didn't really cherish my memories of Warsaw, but I remembered it differently. I knew where they sold the best candies, which way home was the fastest. Now I feel like I don't know the city at all. It's still a melting pot where emotions simmer pushing the town's matter to its limits. It all still rests in anticipation of change, an eruption, an action, but it is different. I am different. I'll have to relearn my way around here all over again. Southern... Oh my goodness, I'm going to be butchering all these Polish uh, pronunciations. Southern... I'll, I'll give it a go. Srodmieski. Srodmieski, something like that. Um, rhythm permeates every brick here, every cobblestone, every rail. The racket of steam engine pistons, of hammers working on the soaring buildings, the frenetic heartbeats, the stomp of marching protest protesters. The dynamics of progress and change are overwhelming, intoxicating and emboldening. I can hear the ripple of dissent more and more clearly. The rhythmic pulse loosens the rivets holding bilingual signboards together and unties corset knots. In this place, you live in the here and now because the past reeks of decay. And it's too terrifying to think what the future holds. Mm. Okay, we're going to Thaumaturgy, because I've actually got two points to spend in here. Hang on. Uh, is it... Okay, I'm just going to pause it and wait to see if it's crashed or what. Okay, it didn't crash, um, but it got stuck on that screen. When I right-clicked, I could hear the, the sort of click of the fingers he does when he does the perception thing behind him. Um, so I don't know what that was all about. But it's probably a good point to mention that I, I, I bought this when it released on the 4th of March. Um, I partly waited till now to play it, partly because I was working my way through Classified, France 44. Um, they came out pretty much, they came out within like a day of each other, I think. Um, but also, when reading the reviews of this, people were pointing out it had some technical issues. They have, but I did notice there have been a couple of quite big patches um, in the sort of intervening couple of weeks. So I thought um, perhaps those technical issues have got addressed. And, and for the most part, so far anyway, I think, they, I think they have, but there certainly was something going on in the menu there. I just wanted to come in here and think about spending these points. So I actually get an extra point indeed because of uh, the Salutor here, which is kind of cool. Um, if we go into the Salutors, there we go, we can, we can look at them and what they do. Now, I don't know if we have them both available in a fight or whether we have to kind of choose one. Uh, I guess we'll see that. Well, I expect we're going to find some others too. Um, so I guess if I got two points, maybe I'll put them into mind and word because then we're kind of, everything's kind of around that sort of either three or two mark, which hopefully will help us uh, you know, be able to look at some other things. Uh, let's go and look what our upgrades that's given us. So um, lucky chance, 60% chance of slowing the enemy's actions. That's not bad. I've got this one now, old wound. Casts Suffering for five turns. Receives uh, damage three to four at the end of every round. Okay, cool. That's what it used on us in the fight. Um, 
makes you lose focus instead of taking damage with a 4 1 ratio. Does that mean for 4 damage we take 1 focus damage, or for 1 damage we take 4 focus? Because obviously that would be bad. Um, So this lucky chance has a 10% greater chance of slowing the enemy's actions, but this actually has a you know flip a coin chance of just stopping their actions, which sounds like a better effect, doesn't it? So I might take that. This powerful mind one. Um, so I can't I can't put this on other stuff now because it looks it looks like it should have you know other stuff there. But so on the salutors then, or vehemence. So this is my pride. Uh, this one, it belonged to Vesna. Uh, da, blah, blah, blah. Book of Atch follows this floor. Increases the deed dimensions force by one. We know this increases that. So it's mentioned a few times about feeding into pride. I, I haven't seen anything to kind of indicate um, what that means. So I don't know, really. And I can't put my upgrades on these guys' skills either. So it feels like we're probably going to acquire quite a few of these things. So... But I guess we're going to get other attacks, maybe as we get other salutors and stuff. So I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll work out in the end. In terms of belongings, so I haven't had a look at this yet. We've got letters and messages from Ligia, my grimoire, a bit of money, a gun, which we haven't used at all yet, and a passport. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think we'll leave it there for now. It's probably a good place just to break it up. We've just arrived in Warsaw, so it'll be nice to. Um, kind of launch into this and give it some proper time and exploration. Um, so I'll just say thanks very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it so far. If you are, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that would be great. Uh, leave me a comment as well. Let me know what you think of the game so far, the storyline, the, the mechanics of it, anything you like, really. Just be interested to hear your thoughts. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could do so. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.